Easter Province Symposium. Our Robert Bois joins us live at the Hawaii Convention Center where the event is taking place today. Robert, good morning. Leah, good morning. Yeah, for organizers, it's been a long time coming. This event was a vision of, uh, originally sped to take place in 2021. So after a number of delays, the day has finally come. This afternoon here at the Hawaii Convention Centers, when they're going to have it, the Hawaii Philippine Sister Province Symposium. Now, the event is a collaboration of three groups, the State of Hawaii's Department of Business, Economic Development and Tourism, the Filipino Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii, and the delegation of Filipinos from Ilocos. Now, you're seeing scenes from Sunday night's banquet at Washington Place, where Governor Josh Green hosted leaders from government, community, education, culture, and business from Hawaii and the Philippine province of Ilocos. They will all meet this afternoon with the goal of strengthening ties between between the two regions. As diverse as the groups and organizations that will be represented today, so too are the goals for those attending. The key to any, any successful business agreement or social activity or whatever is relationship. Okay, you got to build this relationship with people and get to understand their situation better. And I think events like today at this symposium are provide that opportunity. The Philippines is finally getting to that point where you know the competency of the government is finally helping stimulate economic growth but at the same time the philippines cannot move ahead until until we come face to face with our past we can't simply uh, sweep it under the rug we can train people to have that opportunity to to bring their products here and to learn and to learn how to do import export people from hawaii can learn how to export their products to the Philippines and how Philippine products can be brought here. So three different members from three different organizations expressing three very different goals for the events that are coming up this afternoon. Now, if you want more information, you can go to filipinochamber.org. That's where you can find more information on the event. They have closed the online registration, although they are taking walk-up registration if you were to show up here this afternoon. But coming up in the next half hour, we're going to hear from those same leaders and get their thoughts on working with another member in the very powerful yet controversial family of the Marcoses who have been in government for a very long time and one of those members of the family is doing the keynote here this afternoon at the Hawaii Convention Center. Robert Buon, Island News. Leah? Robert, thank you. Still ahead on Good Morning Hawaii, police have determined a connection between the two chemical attacks on Oahu. The latest details from the investigation. Carly? Leah, enjoying the sunrise this morning. Here's a live look over Hilo Bay. Beautiful, not a cloud in sight, and gorgeous shot of Mauna Kea there. We will have your full island weather breakdown forecast coming up with your surf report. Leah. Carly, thank you. Here's a look at your neighbor island drive times. Daniel Tucker will have another look at your morning commute on the other side of the break. It's 640. Stick with us.